Greetings and welcome to Shallow Star. I'm Captain Richard, aka the Renegade, and this is a Starship Intelligence Review video. Take a look at the first ship in a new legendary bundle being unleashed for the 11th anniversary. These intelligence reviews are designed to give you a quick breakdown of the Starship. They are done to be fast with a bit of an overview on what the ship is capable of. So, since that is all I really need to say, let's get into it. And may I introduce to you the legendary Bavel. So, quick notes to be made. The legendary Bavel is going to be in the 11th anniversary bundle. This bundle is going to give you two 100% off tier 6 tokens and any faction unlock thing. So, if you've already bought that, whoops, you missed out on that, unfortunately. That would have been nice to know ahead of time. Six ship slots, six experimental upgrade tokens, 11 master keys, 11 ultimate tech upgrades, 11 R&D promotional, Grefford combat tag, and exclusive to the pack is the Hollow Wolf, the Boref Monk's Robe outfit, and the exclusive title, Got to 11. So, Bearing in mind, this is a 25,000 zen bundle, but it will be 25% off at first. And take a look at that cost. Keep this in mind as we talk about the ship, the legendary Burrell. A tier 6 ship avail available to the Klingon faction and Klingon allied, unless you have the unlock, with a hull modifier of 0.95 and a shield modifier of 0.85 with four forward weapons, two aft weapons. Obviously an experimental weapon slot as it is a escort, two device slots, a base turn rate of 23.5, impulse modifier of 0.2 and inertia rating of 80, with plus 15 to weapon power and plus five to auxiliary power for, as bonus, with enhanced barrel cloak, radar flanking and pilot maneuvers and able to load dual cannons. It is still coming with the mastery package of Raider, as this is a Raider class vessel. And it has five tactical consoles, four engineering consoles, and two science consoles. Obviously scaling of level. The bridge officer positions for this starship is the Commander Universal Pilot. And let's just be frank, that's powerful. Lieutenant Commander Universal Intelligence. Lieutenant Commander Universal and Lieutenant Universal. What does this mean for the ship? Well, quick breakdown for you before we talk about anything else that's coming with the ship. This means the ship is going to be relatively weak for tanking overall, but it's a radar, what we're expecting. Its support capabilities are quite high though, thanks to an X upgrade giving it a one, univers one universal console slot, allowing it to increase its science console slots to three, or five on engineering, this ship becomes extremely powerful as a support vessel as well. Mostly because of that upgrade path possible and also because of the very flexible bridge officer seating all being universal. Now, beyond that we talk about its DPS and DPS is insane. Thanks to its DPS stats, this ship is an easy 10 out of 10, either DPS or tactical DPS or science DPS. So, what that means for this ship is quite simple. We are looking at a 10 out of 10 tactical vessel, or DPS vessel, a 8 out of 10 for support, and a 4 out of 10 for tank. This is definitely a great thing to note for the Starship, and something to keep in mind. I have been a little bit harsh on the tank side of things, because I can be. But let's be fair, it's a Raider, we're not expecting it to be quite high. Now if we keep going down, we're going to see there's a few extra things you're going to get with this Starship. First of all, it's going to have the console Enhanced Induction Coiler, Universal Console Shield Destabilizer, Universal Console Subspace Jumper, and finally, the Quantum Warhead Module. Of these consoles, I will be honest with you guys, the first two are not over the top. However, the induction, the enhanced induction coil does have its benefits. Subspace Jumper can be utilized well if you know what you're doing, and the Quantum Warhead module is powerful for anyone using quantum or kinetic builds. 
Beyond this, this starship will unlock the Deadly Appearance. A new account unlocks starship trait, which will give enhanced power. While decloaking, it will grant you a significant bonus to shield penetration and weapons haste, which is a nice thing. And it should be noted that as this is a legendary starship, it will come with all previous Bird of Prey traits. Unlockable. Which apparently includes Wyvern Barrage here. <laughs> now then, beyond anything else that we get to see on this starship, let's talk about its visual. The new visual, the Vona Talk. Nice. Well, where have we seen this before? Where maybe have we seen this beautiful aesthetic? I'll give you a moment, guys, for anyone uh, that wants to guess it. Star Trek Enterprise. Do you know what? I really did like Star Trek Enterprise's Bird of Prey. And seeing it here, I'm not complaining. So, we now have the Enterprise era skin added on top of the original Burrell which has had a beautiful texture overhaul to get it to fit better in with the STO universe and with canon. You have the Barolf, I can never say that right, the core, which looks absolutely stunning, Barel fleet, and the Koloff, which is my absolute favorite of these ships. Having six skins available along with the, well, five skins available along with a new six skin, and some pretty impressive stats. Tactically speaking, this is definitely a vessel to get your hands on. Its only real weakness is the fact that it is locked behind the bundle. It is locked into the bundle, you cannot buy it separately. And as a result, we're going to want to know with the next three ships coming out, which I do believe are the Vulture, the Excelsior, and the Ambassador Will it be worth buying the whole bundle if the only ship you want is this ship? That's the question I'm going to leave with you guys. I'd love to hear what you think of this ship in the comment section below. The next intelligence reviews will come out as soon as we have information on the next ships or the other ships. Thank you for hearing me whittle on. Hopefully I've covered this quickly enough to keep people happy. Let me know if you like this fast paced version or if you want me to slow it down a little bit. And can I give a massive thank you to the people credited on the screen for the support they've given to this channel over some extended periods now. Sincerely, a massive thank you to you guys. And also, thank you to everyone who has watched to the end of this video. Hopefully you'll consider hit liking and subscribing. And beyond that, I hope to see you next time. Remember, fight with honor. Kapla!